Restoration is defined as the process of bringing back an object to its original state. The process of restoring something. The action of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. The act of restoring, renewal, revival, or reestablishment. The state or fact of being restored. A return of something to a former, original, normal, or unimpaired condition. Restitution of something taken away or lost. Restoration is a system that God uses to return a thing or a person to their former and original glory. It is not only for objects that restoration holds, but people can also be restored. This is the principal ministry of Jesus' blood. The plan of God is to restore mankind back to the original and former state which he intended for mankind to assume from the beginning of creation. God's love has been the motivating force towards the realization of this process. We were created for more than we have been made to believe. This is the devil's plan, keeping men in a state of eternal darkness. God originally created man to be a spirit with which he could communicate on an intimate level and also fellowship with like none of his other creatures. This plan was however short-lived as the fall of the first man would soon truncate the fellowship God had intended and join with them and us by extension. It took a while for this plan to finally be realized upon the coming of his only son, dying on the cross and being raised again, all for the restoration of men. The Bible says, and not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Romans 5.11 We have been reconciled through the eternal blood of Jesus, and in this reconciliation comes our restoration as well. We have been restored to our original glory and place in the agenda of God. We have received our position of authority and fellowship again. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2.9 For all who have believed and have received the Son of God have attained a position of priesthood and holiness. They have been called out of darkness as a different breed, no longer as the old man. This is the transformation that comes with restoration. Now that we are restored spiritually and are in the will of the Father, doing His good will and enjoying His presence in fellowship, God also wants to restore all that concerns us. The Bible tells us that the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. The thief, which is Satan, has a nature that is revealed to us here by Jesus himself. Talking about Satan, Jesus said, He cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. This means that for every appearance of the devil, men expect to lose something valuable. These valuable things may be their souls, their happiness, their joy, their health, their strength, their peace, their family, their relationships, and even their finances. You see, God is all-powerful, and in His infinite wisdom and mercy, He created a system that not only can give men back their lost souls from the crutches of eternal death and hell, but that can also repay and regain everything that men are liable to lose here on earth. God wants us to take back all that the devil has stolen, because he is a thief. The only person that should suffer loss according to God's plan is the man that has rejected his solution to redemption. If any man has rejected God's salvation, then he is exposed to the wiles and torments of Satan. Everything you lost in the past can be restored, says the Lord. God offers this free gift to all who are willing to receive it. Men, do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Proverbs 6, 30 and 31. 
there is a principle here that not only applies to this physical realm, but it applies to the devil as well, because he is a thief. And has he been caught? Oh yes, he has. We are therefore liable to get a sevenfold restoration on everything we ever lost before we found Christ. Everything of ours can be restored. Proclaim your restoration in faith and watch them be restored. Your health can be restored. Your family, your relationships, your finances, your love for God, everything can be restored. Don't shorten the hand of God and limit the things that he can do in your life. He is a restorer and is eagerly willing to restore all that concerns us. He is a good God and it is part of his nature and character to do what is just. He has also promised, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Joel 2, 25. So, it doesn't matter who caused it or what caused it. God is saying today that he is willing to restore every loss that you have suffered. Trust in his word. Believe his mighty power to fulfill and put pressure on his word of restoration by declaring restoration by faith. Heavenly Father, I come before you in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, and today we declare a restoration upon every life that can hear the sound of my voice. Lord, we may have lost things. We may have lost finances. We may have lost health. We may have lost family members and relationships. We may have lost salvation. We may have lost that which you have given to us. But today, Father, we come before you humbly asking you to restore that which we've lost, Lord. Lord, let your spirit at this moment, Lord, just overwhelm us with peace and that we may understand that you are working in our lives. We may not see the restoration process, but we are rest assured that the restoration has already begun. So Father, in this moment, I ask you that you just begin to restore our lives, that we pray more, that we seek your presence more, that we dedicate our lives to you even more, Lord. Heavenly Father, just bless us and help us, Lord, as you restore everything we've lost. We declare victory. We ask you to bring back that which was taken from us. That person at this moment who may be at wit's end and thinking that it's all over. Lord, let them know that you have begun the restoration process. You have begun the move of where they are to bring them closer to you into the position where you want them to be. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord, and we receive the restoration in the almighty name of Jesus. Amen.